The video of the Alaska dentist extracting a sedated woman's tooth while riding a hoverboard is just a shred of evidence in a case unlike any other. There has never been a case like this. In a Medicaid fraud scheme, Luke Hart and his former office manager pushed patients to undergo excessive and needless IV sedation in order to bill Medicaid for the service. While patients were out, some had breathing and heart complications. Others woke up to discover Luke Hart worked on or removed the wrong teeth. This is not an economic crime. This is not a case where the court is sentencing someone who stole $2 million. Luke Hart hurt people vulnerable people, disabled children. Lucart's attorney pointed to his good behavior while out on bail and said he's already received punishment. He's lost a business. There are, as this honor, uh, your court is well aware, there are civil suits, there's been negative publicity, and the likely loss of his license, which again is pending. Lucart called it a transformative process. He apologized and said he's a changed man. I know I would be my best self and in turn able to serve my family and the community best if I were granted the privilege and the hope of a renewed lease on life, practicing dentistry and living among those that I love. Judge Wolverton said he was struck by pages and pages of text messages in which Luke Hart showed no remorse. You darn near killed some people. And not just once and not just twice. People who should, some of them have never been in your office and you knew it. And then after that, you bragged about it in your text. He then gave the woman in this video the last word, reading her testimony from trial. I think what you did was so outrageous, narcissistic, and crazy. So I forgive you for all that. But there's obviously a high price lesson that you're going to have to learn. A lesson in the form of a 20-year sentence with eight years suspended. The cost, 12 years to serve.